I'm ready. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to take on the Bullet Ant Challenge. Are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, oh my gosh, this is it, three. Sweaty and out of it, actually. We are about two and a half hours in at this point, and I'll tell you what, one of the toughest aspects was hiking the 45 minutes back out of the rainforest. I just keep sweating profusely. Uh, my arm currently is very sore. It's red, it is swollen. Check this out. That right there is the mark where the stinger went in. It's like this permanent welt that just isn't going away. And you'll notice all of the blotchiness around the sting zone, very, very similar to the velvet ant. Now, when I was stung by the tarantula hawk, my arm just swelled up like it was full of water, almost like a, like a water balloon. Um, this is different, not as much swelling, but very, very tender. All I have to do is touch the skin around the sting zone, and it feels like a bunch of little tiny needles going in and out. And I'm having this after effect where every 10 to 15 minutes, it feels as if I'm being stung again. And then you have these waves of pain that are throbbing. It's like, Ooh. There's a lot of venom in my arm right now, and we know that because I probably took, mm, I'd say two to three times the amount of venom because the stinger actually got stuck in my arm. How crazy was that shot? Can you believe that we got that? Definitely was not an average sting. No, um, if you're just stung by a bullet ant out there walking, one just whap, tags you, and then you, you do everything you can to get it off, you're not getting you know as much venom as would go in if the stinger was actually stuck. So. Um, it's definitely fair to say that I've taken more venom than the average sting would yield, but that's good because it's giving us the full opportunity to see the effects of this venom on my system. Now, I know a lot of you at this point are thinking, okay, Coyote, we're so glad that you're okay. I know everybody's worried every time I take one of these stings, and as we always show you, we have an epinephrine pen with us just in case I go into anaphylactic shock. Now, the other thing that we often have that we haven't shared with you guys before is this. That's a satellite phone. All you need to do is press a single button on this and a life flight helicopter will come pick us up anywhere in the world. So don't worry, if anything tragic happens, we're gonna get me out of danger as quickly as possible. Now, whenever we do one of these bite and sting episodes, I like to show you guys the basic first aid that you could have right in your medicine cabinet or that you would get from the pharmacy. But today, we're gonna do something just a little bit different. Are you gonna pee in a bottle again? Oh, I didn't even pirates? I didn't even think about that. Does urine work on a bullet ant sting? No, sorry guys, sorry Mario, no pee for this aftermath video. Mario's disappointed. That's fine with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> But what we do have is a product called Stingkill. Now, this is a company that has been around for a long time, and it's a basic remedy for any insect bite or sting. Now, this one here is an actual sting wipe. It's got benzocaine and menthol. The menthol is gonna be fantastic because that's a cooling agent, and my arm is on fire right now. Don't believe me? Mark, go ahead and touch the skin there on my forearm and tell everybody, is that wow. warm to the touch? That is really hot. You can't even tell from like the side of your arm to right to yeah. the sting. Wow. So, what I'm gonna do is open this up and let's see if the sting wipe helps <sighs> to cool off my arm. This is nice, these are perfect. This could fit right in any hiking backpack. Um, and this is for any basic bite or sting. Could be a honeybee, could be a hornet. In this case, it is going to be a bullet ant. Ooh, ooh, that's strong, yeah. Look at that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna apply it to the skin. That's pretty nice. That is cooling, and I can actually feel it slightly numbing the surface of my skin. There's definitely a cooling factor going on here. I can still feel burning deep within my arm, but the actual, yeah, the surface level of my skin feels cool. Um, 
Oh, yeah, that's actually really nice. Wow, okay. Now, the other product that I have with us is that guy. Here we go. Oh, this looks like a magic remedy right there. Check that out. Is that bullet ant kryptonite? I'm about to find out. Maximum strength sting kill. Now, to use this, what you want to do is just crack the glass tube that's inside there. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. You see that? All right, look at that. Yeah, you can see it seeping right down into the tip there. Here we go. First drop. I'm going to just gently apply that to the sting zone. Ooh, cool. Kind of looks like mutagen from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh. Wow! So it is numb! Is Sting Kill the real deal? Sting Kill may have just taken away the pain from the bullet ant. Wow, that did. That, I can't believe that. That actually just worked. Really? It really did. I was, I won't lie, I was expecting it to be like, oh, okay, kind of works. I can, yeah, my arm is completely numb right there. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Just a minute ago, you couldn't even touch the skin. When you just touched my arm, it felt like sharp little needles. Nothing. Nothing. No, totally numb. That is unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you this much. We will definitely be using the sting wipes and the maximum sting kill in our first aid kits in all locations moving forward. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. If you happen to miss the bullet ant challenge, make sure to go back and watch the most painful sting I've ever taken. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location. I can't imagine how nervous I'm going to be to actually be stung by it.